In this video, you'll learn about partial scoring with multiple choice, multiple answer questions. Okay, let's get started here. So I'm going to give you three different examples of how you can score multiple choice, multiple answer questions in Adobe Captivate. And let's start off right away with the first one. Now the reasons are various. But, uh, you know, I'll try to provide you some guidance with each one. So the first way you can score multiple choice, multiple answer questions is that you can award points when all the correct answers and none of the distractors are selected. Distractors are simply wrong answers. In other words, the learner needs to get all the right answers to be awarded any points whatsoever. Now, I would use this type of scoring when it's, in a, it's important to evaluate what your learner knows uh, or that your learner knows all the answers and not just some of the answers. So, for example, the example I'm showing here, um, you know, you're, you're testing something that pertains to the health and safety of people. So, which personal protective equipment must be worn on the airfield? Obviously, only getting two of the three correct wouldn't be the correct answer as a whole. So uh, in this case here, if we go to the quiz, quiz panel, you can see here we've got four answers. We're shuffling those answers. I'm not checking off partial scoring and the user will only get 10 points if they select head, ear and eye protection. Respiratory protection is not required in this case and that does not contribute to the score in any way. Uh, if they choose two of these, they get zero. If they choose just one of these, they get zero. And that's essentially how that works. Another way you can award partial points is for each correct answer, but none of the distractors. So in other words, uh, each correct answer will add to the total score. However, selecting a wrong answer has no impact on that score. You might use this type of scoring when the information is less critical and knowing some of the answers is still useful to the employee's job performance. So the example I thought of here is uh, recalling which people were presidents of the United States. Barack Obama is a correct answer. George W. Bush is a correct answer. William Jefferson Clinton is a correct answer. And surprisingly, Benjamin Franklin is not a correct answer. That's the distractor. And how we're going to set this up is I'm going to check off partial score. Now don't worry about what the points or the penalty is set. I'll show you how you can set those individually for each correct answer. So let's check off partial score. You'll notice that this gets grayed out. Now let's select one of the correct answers. We'll start with the first one and we'll go to the properties inspector or properties panel and you'll see underneath the options tab if I select the option tab, I can select the number of points that this answer is worth by itself. So in this case, Barack Obama is worth three points. George Bush is worth three points. And you'll probably see that William Jefferson Clinton is worth four points. So I'm going to change that to three. Uh, you can avoid this step by simply selecting a number on the quiz panel that is truly divisible by the number of correct answers. If I select Ben Franklin, he's not worth any points. So he's not contributing to the final score. So again, this is when the information is probably a little less critical. Perhaps you're a, uh, a tour guide operator in the Washington area and you need to know, of course, uh, who some of the presidents are. If you get it wrong, no one's going to die. No one's going to end up in the hospital. But, you know, it's obviously still important to try and get that answer correct. In the third example, you can award partial points for each correct answer. And in this case, a penalty for selecting a distractor. So in other words, each correct answer adds to the total and a distractor will subtract from that total. And this is useful when knowing some of the information is valuable, but accuracy is important to overall job performance. So if someone was to get, in this case, which of the following are statutory holidays in Canada, and I forgot my question mark, New Year's Day, Christmas Day, and Canada Day, 
if they got New Year's Day and they got Christmas Day, I'm going to award them some points. So let's take a look here. We're going to do partial scoring. We're going to go to the properties uh, panel for each of those. So the first one's worth three points. The second one's worth three points. Canada Day is going to be worth three points. But what I'm going to say here is that I think it's okay if someone says New Year's Day and Christmas Day, but maybe forgets Canada Day. I still want to give them six points out of nine. But if they choose Cinco de Mayo, which is clearly the wrong answer, I want to penalize them. So I'm going to put a negative score value in here. Let's say minus three. So choosing a wrong answer in this case is the equivalent of getting another answer uh, that they did get right actually wrong or negate one of their correct answers. So let's test this out. We've got some of these here working um, and set up ready to go. So let's just do a preview of this and see how that works. So I'm just going to preview it uh, as a project here. So here we go, partial scoring. Uh, so which personal protective equipment must be worn on the airfield? So in this case, uh, this is going to be one of those questions where I have to get all of the answers correct to receive any score whatsoever. So I'm going to choose respiratory protection, head protection, and eye protection. This is incorrect, and I'll get that wrong. As you can see here, I get zero points for this particular question. So question two, which of the following people were president of the United States? Now, in this case, I'm awarding partial points for each correct answer, but you're not getting penalized for the wrong answer. So let's say I choose George W. Bush and Barack Obama. For some reason, I've forgotten about Clinton. And obviously, Ben Franklin is a wrong answer. I'm going to select that. That actually will have no impact on this question. Yeah, we'll submit that. And of course, I need to set up the appropriate captions for those types of questions as well. Which of the following are statutory holidays in Canada? I'm going to choose all of them, forgetting, of course, that Cinco de Mayo is actually a holiday in Mexico. And we'll hit Submit. We'll see what the results were. So I actually only scored 12 out of a possible 28. Let's do a review of the quiz so we can see where I went wrong. So I got this one incorrect. I got no score for this one, um, you know, because I, I chose head protection, eye protection, but I forgot ear protection. I didn't choose that, and therefore that's incorrect. If I take a look at this one here, uh, which of the following people were president of the United States? I did get Barack Obama correct. I did get George Bush correct. I should have selected William Clinton, Bill Clinton. And I did choose Ben Franklin, and clearly that's incorrect as well. And of course, uh, which of the following are statutory holidays in Canada? I chose them all. Cinco de Mayo is not uh, a correct answer here. So while I did get two of them right, actually I got three of them right, I lost or I basically negated one of those right answers by choosing Cinco de Mayo. Because of course, here is where accuracy is important. Knowing some of the information is valuable, but choosing a completely wrong answer is inappropriate. So that's pretty much it. There are basically, just to summarize again, there are three different examples of how you can do partial scoring. And of course, if you want to adjust or control those scores, you do so from the properties panel. I know you'd expect to find it in the quiz panel, but select the answers that you want to set a score for and go to the properties panel and you can control those those scoring values there. Um, again, just in summary, three different types of multiple choice, multiple answer scoring scenarios. You can award points when all the correct answers and none of the distractors are selected. You can award partial points for each correct answer and zero points for the distractors, or you can award partial points for each correct answer and a penalty for selecting the distractor. Guys, if you like the videos that I produce for you, I encourage you to subscribe to the channel. And if you thought this video was useful or helpful, 
go ahead and give me a thumbs up.